Hello, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be working on my Camaro. This car is my baby. Okay, my second baby. This is a 2012 Camaro. It has uh, 104,000 miles. It's 11 years old. Still in good shape. The other day I came out and I found this. Just starting. So um, I searched YouTube and could not find any videos on this. Um, so I had to make my own. So any of you guys got Camaros, fifth generation, seats are starting to go. When they're still in good shape with just a small defect, uh, let's learn how to fix them together. So step one is to move the seat all the way forward. You want to take the seat belt out of the loop. Then you want to put this forward. Then that lets you get, get to these two bolts right here. Yeah, I'm going to start with the ratchet and a 250 socket. Once the bolts are removed, we're going to move the seat back. Just enough to cover that tracking right there. So now to get the seat out, tilt it forward and lift up. The seat is loose and now we have to unhook the harness for the uh, electronic controls. So to unhook the harness, you want to slide this piece out, that unhooks it. The seat is completely free now. Now we need to see how to release the fabric. Okay, so it looks like to get the cobra, it's like a screwdriver right here. There it goes. Don't give you much room for your fingers. Same thing on the, this is the inside next to the console. Oh, here's that it. Ooh, got it. I'm gonna try to just take those two off. Ooh, it's attached right here. So I decided I need to take the cover where the controls are off, which is right here. So there is a screw right here. It's like a Phillips. Wait, take that one off. So there's a screw. Take that one off. Take the driver's head. Right 
Or do you take anything else off? Yes, I do. Must be some kind of clip. Oh, right there. Yeah, I bet there's another clip somewhere. Oh, under there. Got it. And there's one on this end somewhere. There's something on this end holding it. So it's about right in here. Oh, it gave loose. Right there. So, the next order of business is... So basically we want to take this off, take this off. So the best way to take this off seems to be to just rotate it. Just get the screwdriver in and rotate it like this. That pops right off. Okay. You have to unhook this, which is the final side. So let me tilt it up. Oh, wait. Mm. It's zip tied right there. Better. Just push this through one hand and kind of pull on it with the other hand and just work my way across. So just, that's it, we're free. So there are, again we can see them, little staples in there. I don't know if I can put those back in if I take them out. And where the tear is, is dead center from either end. So I can get my, oh and this has another one with a staple right here. That makes it even worse. Okay, I got the seat fixed. Let me explain how this is, is working. The seat is attached here, here, and here, and then like right here. So I had to lift the cover up like this and go underneath from here and about this big. I have a piece of fabric that's glued with, um, it's called liquid stitch. And you just, it's for gluing fabrics. There is one of these plastic bars going across here. So I had to go here under the bar and then onto here. But hopefully it holds it together somewhat. And then I put some glue here. That's what that white is. It's supposed to dry clear. I guess I'll find that out in the morning. So for now, I've got the cover all the way around, reinstalled. This goes under here, this comes back to here. So if you look at the seat, it's, it has a support here, then it dips down which I don't like. Uh, I feel like there's, there's a hole here when I'm driving. So what I'm going to do, I have an old pillow and I'm gonna put some padding here and then put the seat on top of it.
Okay. So once you get to a certain point, you can just pull it until this bar gets into the little groove that's right here. And there we go. There we go. That's looking good. This piece was under here and then zip tied. We are going to cover up the foam. Like that. Okay. This lever right here has to go underneath that right there. And of course, it feels like the cable here is too short. But if you get it back far enough, it'll work. Everything goes back the same way it came apart, so that's why I'm not really explaining it that much. But uh, I'm going to fold the seat, put the bottom in first, and then open it back up. And then the next step is going to be to hook up the electrical again. This has to be pulled out. That looks what box it in. So that slides in. Then as you push it, it pulls it down in there. It's supposed to snap in, but that's that broke. There we go. And the other side looks like it's in. Next order of business. Bring the seat forward. Okay, get the other one. Well, there you have it. That's how you can make a repair to the bottom cushion. But for now, that's it. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to hit like or subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Remember, God loves you.